Hello and welcome back. I'm Stevie. And I'm Hetty. Now, yesterday we were talking about Santa Claus Village. And we talked a little bit about Santa Claus and what you could see at Santa Claus Village.、Mm -hmm. So, because it's Christmas, I'm wearing red again.、Mm. I like Christmas.、Uh, and today we're looking at two dialogues、uh, about our Santa Claus Village. OK， 所以今天呢，我们要讲我们之前已经看过一个关于圣诞老人村的介绍。Yep. 我们今天要看更多对话，有关于这里面发生什么样的事情。You know, I I wanted to start out singing Christmas songs again. OK. But I couldn't think of,、uh, you know, yesterday I did Santa Claus is coming to town, right?、Mm -hmm. But I couldn't think of any other Santa Claus ones. So, you know, there's like dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Or the fields we go, laughing all the way. Now you have to laugh with me. Ready? No, no, you gotta <laughs> laugh. Really? Yeah. Ready?、Okay. You have to say ho, ho, ho. Okay. okay. Ready? Okay. Laughing all the way. Ho, ho, ho. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Now do you know the song? Jingle, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh! Hey, hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way! Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh! Hey! Okay, I sang my Christmas song. I'm happy. Let's have a look at our dialogues. The dialogue, 情境对话 Just look at all these beautiful Christmas cards. We should get some to send to our friends back home. That's a great idea. I also spotted a snow globe that my niece Susan would absolutely love to add to her collection. Welcome to the Santa Claus Man Post Office. Can I help you with anything? Yes, I have a question for you. Is it possible for our cards and gifts to be sent so they arrive before Christmas? Of course, ma'am. You can request that with the post elf behind the counter、uh, when you're ready to check out, or you can simply put them in the red mailbox over there. Thanks. I love that you offer that kind of service. The explanation, 内文讲解 Okay, looking at dialogue A, we have Kate, we have William, and we have a postal elf. Now you've heard of Santa's elves, right? Well, many or more than one are elves. One is an elf,、mm. so a postal elf works in a post office. So Kate and William, these are our characters. Kate and William are at the Santa Claus main post office. Mm, okay. Or Santa Claus Village main、right. post office too, yeah. Right. So, actually, we just talked about the elf. Elf is the little elf, right? Then we just talked about Santa's elves. When we talk about the elves, we talk about the elves. Elves. Right. So, this is the elves. Then, 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 the elves. Santa Claus Main Post Office. Yeah. 他竟然到了圣诞老人村里面的这个主要这个最大间的邮局里面。Yeah. Now Kate says, "Just look at these beautiful Christmas cards." So they're selling Christmas cards at the Santa Main Post Office because it's Christmas. It's Santa Claus Village, right? Or Christmas Village. So there's beautiful Christmas cards at the post office. Hmm. So you say, just look at all these beautiful Christmas cards. So you say, 看看这些这么多漂亮的圣诞卡。所以代表在这个圣诞老人村里面，它的邮局各式各样的圣诞卡都有。对。Then she says, we should get some to send to our friends back home. We should get some of these beautiful Christmas cards to send to our friends back home. Now there are Christmas cards, and there might also be. What we call postcards,、mm -hmm. P O S T card, postcard, and that's、uh, in in Chinese is 明信片 Yeah, so it's just one card, 
and you write something on it and the address and they stamp it mm -hmm. and you send it right there. Right. So they probably have postcards too. So we today talk about Christmas cards, the Christmas card. We talk about postcards, the so-called so-called postcards. That actually, most of the stores will sell such things. So. 刚刚 Kate 就说 ，We should get some to send to our friends back home，、mm -hmm. 就当纪念品一样。我们应该买一些，然后寄回去给我们家家乡的朋友。Yeah， and William says that's a great idea. You know， good idea. 嗯、mm.。很棒，就是真的就太好了，<笑>因为这是一个非常非常就是方便，然后又就是很漂亮的纪念品。Yeah， and then William says I also spotted a snow globe that my niece Susan would absolutely love to add to her collection. I also spotted. Okay, I spotted it. I saw it.、Mm. I spotted a snow globe. Do you know what a snow globe is? It's like a a a a, a round. Yeah, a globe is something round.、Mm -hmm. All right, a snow globe is like a glass ball, and if you shake it, the snow falls inside.、Mm. So we call that a snow globe. All right. He says I spotted or I saw a snow globe that my niece Susan would absolutely love to add to her collection. Now. Your niece is the daughter of your brother or sister.、Mm -hmm. Okay,、uh, brother or sister, older brother, younger brother, young, older sister, younger sister. It's all the same.、Mm. Your niece is any daughter of your brother or sister, and my niece Susan would absolutely love to add this snow globe to her collection. Now he says she has a collection. So she probably has a collection of snow globes that she likes. Hmm. Okay. So he says spot 就是发现看见的意思。所以说他 also 他也看到了一个什么 a snow globe. 嗯。刚刚 Stevie 有说 snow globe globe 就是其实指全球的意思嘛。Yeah. 那是 snow globe 就是它是一个圆形玻璃的物品，然后你摇一摇，它就会有雪花这样子下下来，就看起来像真的下雪一样，就是外国人。雪花随风飘。嗯。还有中文版 ，OK，、mm. 好，所以 snow globe 就是一个圆形的一个所谓的下雪的雪花球。Mm -hmm. 然后 that my niece Susan niece 是侄女，侄女就是所谓的你的兄弟姐妹的孩子，就是所谓的侄子或是侄女 ，nephew or niece。Yeah， a nephew would be a boy。Right， 所以说如果是侄子就是 nephew， 如果是侄女就是 niece。Yeah. Susan would absolutely love to add to her collection。所以说这个 Susan 呢，她一定会绝对会怎么样？ Love to add to her collection. He will very much want to add collection, which is his collection. He will very much want to add this snow globe to his collection. And spotted or to spot something is one of our words and phrases today. Like Shane spotted a deer on the side of the highway. This happens a lot in America when you're driving.、Um, you know, you see a deer or spot a deer. On the side of the road, or sometimes it's running across the road, and you have to go ah stop. <laughs> okay, so actually, this is very common to see. You may see a deer on the side of the highway. This is quite lucky. It is on the side of the highway. Yeah. Sometimes the deer runs across the road, and the small animals don't know. So it runs across the road. This is very common in the United States. Yeah.、Uh, we also have another word, collection. A collection is any time that you collect something. You put them all together, like me. I have a very nice fruit collection right here. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> collection is just like that. Not mine. Okay. Yeah, it's not mine too. Okay. Okay. So it's actually a very, 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 very Of something,、uh, like Sam has a large collection of antique weapons. Okay, antique weapons very dangerous. <laughs> 就是 Sam 他收藏 a large collection 大量的收藏什么 antique 就是古董。Yeah. 那 weapons 就是所谓的武器，所以他收藏很多古代的武器。Yeah. So、uh, they're at the post office, and then the postal elf, you know,、uh, the postal elf is there and. Of course, you know he says something like,、uh, 
Welcome to the Santa Claus Main Post Office. Um, <laughs> so, welcome to, you know, the Santa Claus Main Post Office. Welcome. Yeah. 欢迎光临 Yeah, 欢迎光临所以说欢迎你来到所谓圣诞老人邮局 Yes,、uh, and then a very polite thing to do if you work in a store and someone comes in, we don't say what do you want. Okay,、mm. that sounds rude in English. What do you want?、Uh, so we say,、uh, can I help you, or can I help you with anything?、Mm-hmm. Um, you know, or in this case, the elf, of course. Can I help you with anything? <laughs> okay, so this is just 小精灵的口气。所以说 ，Can I help you with anything? Or can I help you? 就是说我可以为你做些什么吗？有什么我可以帮你的吗？ Yeah. 当然，在英文里面，当然不可以讲说 What do you want? 你想要什么？这是非常非常没有礼貌。所以这是一个非常像店员一样的口气，就是非常非常的客气。And Kate says,、uh, Yes, yes, you can help me with something. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. This is a very simple statement, very easy. Mhm. Hello. Yes, I have a question for you. He said, 对我我有一个问题 I have a question for you. 我有一个问题要想请问一下 She says, "Is it possible for our cards and gifts and our gifts that we bought to be sent so that they arrive before Christmas?、Mm. Like, can I if we send them now, will they get to our friends and family before Christmas?" Okay, so so it is possible. So, 可以吗？就是 for our cards and gifts, 我们买的这些呃圣诞卡还有礼物 to be sent so that they arrive before Christmas. 它可以在这边寄出，然后可以在圣诞节之前送到吗？嗯哼。And the elf says, "Of course, ma'am. Of course, no problem." Okay, he said, "Of course, ma'am." Just a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a And then the elf says, "You can request that with the postal elf behind the counter.、Uh, you know, you can request that with this elf that works behind the counter、uh, when you are ready to check out, or you can simply put them in the red mailbox over there. So you can request that your stuff gets sent、mm-hmm. and is there before Christmas. You can request that with the elf behind the counter when you're ready to check out." Uh, this doesn't mean check out of a hotel. This means check out of the store. It means to finish buying stuff.、Mm-hmm. You know, you're they're writing it down or putting it in the computer, and、uh, when you check out, you pay.、Mm-hmm. Okay,、uh, or you can simply, if you've already bought them and you've packaged them, you can put them in the red mailbox over there. And the elf is pointing somewhere. Okay, so you say you can request that. If you have such a request, you can say to whom? Request that with the postal elf behind the the counter. So you say the counter is the counter. 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 都买好了，你那时候要付账的时候，结账的时候，所谓的 check out。Yeah. 所以说，当你要结账的时候呢，你可以去跟那个柜台后面的小精灵说 ，or you can simply put them in the red mailbox over there。他说，你可以到那边去。然后把你买的东西放在那个 red mailbox。mailbox 就是所谓的一个邮邮政箱，就是一个小小的箱子，红色的邮政箱里面。Yeah. And William says, "Thanks, like that's great. I love that you offer that kind of service. I think it's great that you offer this kind of service." 嗯，他说哦，真是太棒了，谢谢。他说我非常非常喜欢你们有提供这样的服务。Yeah. Now, don't forget. Right now, you can check our tips in use box and learn more uses for request that to request that something happen or that somebody do something.、Uh, you can see that in our tips in use. We'll take a quick break right now, and we'll be right back with dialogue B. Tips in use, 重点解析 Hello, 大家好，欢迎来到 Tips in Use 的时间。我是 Sherman。今天我们要看的是 request 加 that 子句的用法。在本文中，我们可以看到 you can request that with the postal elf 当中的 request that 子句呢，它表示要求什么什么的意思。
。那底下有几点要注意的，我们来看一下吧。首先 ，request 它是一个抑制的动词，在后面呢接 that 子句当做受词的时候，这边的子句啊要使用助动词 should。但是呢 ，should 往往会因为省略而直接接原形动词。底下有一些其他的抑制动词，我们来看一下。首先表示要求的有 ask、demand、require、request。表示建议的有 advise、suggest、recommend、propose， 还有 move。表示命令的有 command、order。表示规定的有 rule。Stipulate, prescribe, 表示主张的有 insist, 还有 advocate. 那么我们下面看一下例句吧。I suggested that Peter should, 或是把这个 should 省略变成 do the work later. 我建议彼得啊，稍后再做这个工作。或者是下面这个例句。The police officer commanded that the prisoners should walk quietly. 或者是 the police officer commanded that the prisoners walk quietly. 警官呢、啊，他要命令囚犯轻声行走。所以关于这个抑制动词的用法，希望同家同位的学会喽。我们下次见，拜拜。The dialogue, 情境对话。How are you folks enjoying your stay with us? I love how warm and cozy our cabin is. I almost don't want to leave it. That's great to hear. What can I do for you this morning? We'd like to experience more of the local culture. Could you give us a few options? Sure. You can go on a dog sled, or reindeer sleigh ride, go snow mobbling, and even pen for gold. Really? I'd love to give penning for gold a try. Is there anything more specific to this area? Certainly. There is a reindeer farm nearby that offers a complete Lapland experience with Lapish meals and ceremonies. Oh, I like the sound of that. The explanation, 内文讲解 Welcome back. We're looking at dialogue B now, and actually we have new people now.、Mm. We have Holly. We have Nick. And we have a receptionist, and I'm just going to tell you something fun. Holly is a Christmas berry. It's a winter berry, so it, you know sometimes we see it in like American or European Christmas decorations.、Uh, it's like these pretty green,、uh, like green leaves with berries, and they're red.、Mm-hmm. Those are called holly berries.、Mm-hmm. So it's kind of fun that they're using Holly as the girl's name. Oh, and Nick. Santa Claus's name is Saint Nick or Nicholas.、Oh. So Holly and Nick, very Christmas names, okay? Okay. And we have the receptionist. All right. And Holly and Nick are at the reception desk at the Santa Claus Holiday Village. So this is probably the Santa Claus Holiday Village. Hotel. Hmm. Okay. So, 刚刚在邮局，现在我们到了所谓的旅馆里面了。Yes. 然后刚刚 Stevie 有说 ，Holly 其实它就是你们在圣诞节看到一些装饰，不是会有绿色的叶子，上面会有红色的小果实， mm-hmm. 那个就叫做 Holly。然后 Nick 其实就是 Santa 的小名 ，right?、Yep. So、Actually, it's Santa's real name. A real name. Saint Nicholas. So it's Nicholas. Yeah. But you can also call him Nick. Yeah. Right. 所以说他叫做 Nicholas， 但是呢，他是其实这是非常非常圣诞节的名字。Yes. 然后还有一个人叫做 receptionist， 就是所谓的接待员。Mm. Yep. 所以他在这个 Santa Claus Holiday Village， 他在这个圣诞老人的假期的村庄里面，在这个旅馆里面。Yes. Now our receptionist, who might be an elf,、mm. maybe he or she is an elf. It, she could be.、Uh, she says, "How are you folks enjoying your stay with us?、Mm. Okay. How are you folks? This word is a very It's a very,、uh, we say, homey feeling.、Mm-hmm. It's a very, it's very comfortable. And somebody that you know, we wouldn't hear this if you were going to, a, like Tiffany's in New York or a Prada store. Nobody would say, "Hi, folks, how you doing?" This is a very country style, very homey style, very friendly style of speaking. So, how are you folks enjoying your stay with us? In other words. 
Are you enjoying yourself staying here? Do you like it? Hmm. So, so, you, he, this side, this idea, saying, so, how are you folks enjoying your stay with us? He said, you, 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 Okay, you know how you just said, you know that warm feeling, right? Well, we often put these together, like warm and cozy, feeling good. And Holly says, "I love how warm and cozy our cabin is. I almost don't want to leave it. You know, I, I love it. It feels good. It's cozy." Hmm. Okay. So, what is cabin? Cabin is like a small. House made of wood,、oh. or made of like, like logs.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, I love log cabins. Hmm. Okay, so it's a very, very classic one. A small cabin. So, so I love how warm and cozy. Co- warm, just like we just said, very warm. Yeah. And cozy, just 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 very warm. Yeah. And cozy, Words and phrases today, and cozy just means comfortable.、Mm. Do you have a a warm blanket that's like all it's like long furry haired blanket, and when you when it's really cold outside, you put that blanket around you, and you feel warm and we we call that cozy.、Ah. It's warm and it's comfortable and it makes you go, ah,、oh, this is so nice. <laughs> okay,、know? so that's cold, so that cozy. would be cozy, yeah. Oh, okay. 所以说，其实 cozy 这个字怎么来，其实就是一个那种毛毛的毯子。然后，其实你在很冷的时候，你会把它披在身上。所以我们要讲说那个东西就是 cozy。然后衍生而来，我们现在就会讲说 cozy 就是讲很舒适的意思。嗯、mm. ，so、uh, like the sentence we have, I love curling up with a good book. This means getting in your favorite chair,、mm-hmm. curling up, putting your knees up. Oh, okay. You know, you're sitting with your knees up in your favorite chair. Ah,、oh, I love curling up with a good book in my cozy armchair. So maybe this armchair is like you know big and thick.、Mm. It's like soft and cozy and warm and ah.、Oh, so cozy can also mean like soft. Right. It's comfortable. It's soft. Okay. So we say he likes a comfortable chair. He says armchair means 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 a comfortable chair. That's great to hear. That's I'm so glad that you feel warm and cozy. He said, "That's great to hear." So, oh, I heard you say that. I really think that's great. Yeah.、Um, and because they went to the desk, so they probably want something. So the receptionist said, "Well, they probably want something." So they probably want something. So the receptionist said, "Well, they probably want something." So the receptionist said, "Well, they probably want something." So the receptionist said, "Well, they probably want something." So the receptionist said, "Well, they probably want something." So the receptionist said, "Well, they probably want something." So the receptionist said, "Well, they probably want something." So the receptionist said, "Well, they probably 嗯、mm, ，OK。所以当他们聊完天之后呢，其实这两个人来到柜台一定有事情。所以其实这个 Elf 就跟他们讲说 ，OK， 他说那 What can I do for you this morning？ 他说非常非常 polite， 非常非常有礼貌的一个问法。他说那我今天早上可以再为你做些什么吗 ？And、uh, then of course Nick says we'd like to experience more of the local culture. Now remember, they're in Santa Claus Village, which is a Christmas village. But where is it? It's in Finland.、Mm. Okay, so we want to experience more of the local culture. Maybe we want to learn a little bit about Finnish culture. Okay, so we just talked about how he's in the village of Santa Claus in Finland. In Finland, then we just, he, of course, when he comes to the country, you naturally want to know more about the local people and their customs. So he said, "We'd like to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience more of the local culture. We want to experience And so Nick says he continues. Could you give us a few options? Like, could you give us a few、uh, choice ideas? 
他说：“既然他想要经历更多的当地文化，所以 Could you give us a few options？ 你可以给我们一点 options， 就是所谓的选择。Yeah， choices。对 ，choices。他说：你可不可以给我一些不一样的选择，更多让我有一些不一样的想法 ？Yeah， and option is actually one of our words and phrases today. Uh, you know, an option means a choice. We also might use it like I have no choice but to do something. I have no options. I have no option but to do something. We use it a lot like this as well. Hmm. Okay. So actually, option is basically a choice. It's all about choosing. It's a noun. 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 But to do something, or to have no choice but to do something, is besides doing something, we have no other option. Yeah. Like my mother would say. Um, you know, if I didn't do my homework, okay, my mother would say, "Okay, I have no choice but to make you stay home this weekend and do homework、mm, because、okay. I didn't get good grades." Right. So, so her mom will say, "Oh, 除了让你待在家里面，这个周末就让你待在家里面好好用功之外，我也没有其他的选择了。Yeah,、mm. because you didn't get good grades. Right.、Uh, we could also say, Mr. Smith." Had no option but to take his daughter out of school. I don't know why,、yeah. but he had no choice. Hmm. That sounds like there's another story behind it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. He says, "So Mr. Smith, this Mr. Smith, 先生呢，他没有选择，只好把他的女儿从学校带走了。Yeah. So you know, he wants some options, some other choices, and the receptionist says, "Sure, you can go on a dog sled or." A reindeer sleigh ride, or you can go snowmobiling. Let's, which is you know, riding kind of like a flat motorcycle on the snow, and you can even pan for gold. Hmm. Okay. He said. He said. That I can give you something. He said you can go dog sleigh. That is, you can use dogs to help you pull snow. Yeah. Yeah. Very exciting. Or reindeer sleigh ride, or you can also. 用驯鹿来帮你拉雪橇，或者是 go snowmobiling， 或者是所谓的你去坐所谓的雪上摩托车， yeah. 更快。Or even paying for gold， 非常奇妙，它可以让你去淘金。Uh, pan for gold is you like many places that there's a river.、Mm -hmm. You take a pan, it looks like a pie pan,、mm -hmm. and you put it in the sand in the river.、Mm -hmm. And you shake it and shake it, and as the bigger parts go out, if there's gold there, you'll find it in the pan. So we call it panning for gold. And actually, that's also our one of our words and phrases. Mm-hmm. Okay. So actually, panning for gold. Actually, this thing, just now Stevie said, made me think of actually, Jilong Jin Gua Shi also has this thing. Mm-hmm. It's like it will let you be in the sea, and then you just take like a thing like a scythe thing, and you just take the water and the sand and put it on, and then after you shake it, after you shake it, you will find some little gold pieces. Yeah. 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 I'd love to give this a try. Hmm. I think almost anyone will agree. So he says, he of course hears it, he will say, hmm. He says, I love to give painting for gold a try. Give something a try. He says, try to do something. He of course wants to try to get gold. Yeah. And、mm -hmm. to give something a try or give something a shot is one of our words and phrases today.、Uh, you know, we would say this a lot.、Ah, I know the job is difficult, but. You should at least give it a try. Give it a shot.、Mm, okay, so give it a try, give it a shot, 就是代表说都试试看嘛。所以说我知道这工作很难，但是你至少试试看嘛。嗯哼，嗯哼。And then he said, or Holly says, is there anything more specific to this area? Is there anything that's special about this area? 嗯，他说，所以说 ，Is there anything more specific this area? 说这个地方还有没有更特别、更独有？是这个地方才有的。Yeah. 你可以介绍让我知道。And that's one of our words and phrases too. To be specific to a place or be unique to a place, that means that this is special just for this place.、Mm. All right. Uh, like, uh, this problem is unique to big cities. Like,、okay. too many people in one small area. This problem is unique to big cities. Okay, so so actually, be specific to or be unique to, 都是这个地方独有的，只有这个地方才有的。所以，我们例句说，这个问题是大城市所特有的，所独有的。Yeah. Okay. So 
She wants to find something that's specific to this area, and the receptionist says, cool, yes, certainly, of course there's something local. There's a reindeer farm nearby, a farm that raises not cows, not horses or sheep, they raise reindeer. So, and they offer a complete Lapland experience. Now, the area, that the northern area that Finland and Iceland and Greenland and some of these areas up there, all this area used to be called Lapland, mm -hmm. okay? And the people uh, were actually called Lapish, mm. okay? So, uh, this offers a complete Lapland experience with Lapish meals and ceremonies. Like things that they do in their culture that you can check out. Okay, so it was certainly. He said, "Of course, now there's a reindeer farm nearby that, that offers complete Lapland experience." He said, "Here, close by, nearby, there's a reindeer farm. Farm is a farm. He raises what? Reindeer. He is raising sheep. He will provide you with a complete Lapland experience. Yeah, 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 complete Lapland experience. 就是所谓的他们这个文化的什么东西，就是 a lavish、yeah. meals， 它就所谓的这个文化的 meals， 就是所谓它的餐点。嗯哼，它可以，你可以提供你的文化的一些经验，然后甚至你可以吃它的餐点，然后你可以参加它的 ceremony， 它可以参加它的一些庆典。Yeah. So that's kind of cool.、Mm -hmm. And Holly says, "Oh, I like the sound of that." In other words, that sounds cool. I'm gonna do that. Right? He said, "I like the sound of that." 其实就是就是我很喜欢你你讲的这个东西，就是我觉得哦听起来很棒，就是我也想要去试试看。So it sounds like Nick and Holly are gonna have a good time、mm, at、right. Christmas at at Santa's village, Santa Claus's village, or we call it Christmas village too. Oh, Christmas village. Yeah. 圣诞村 Yeah.、Oh, okay. So it's kind of the same thing. Well, that is all the time we have for today.、Uh, we'll see you next time. And since we've been talking about Santa Claus and village, should we do a little Merry Christmas thing? Of course. Okay, ready? Okay. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Bye bye. Bye. Words and phrases, 单字片语 One, cozy, comfortable. I love curling up with a good book in my cozy armchair. Two, option, have no option, have no choice but to. Mr. Smith had no option but to take his daughter out of school. Three. Give something a try. Give something a shot. I know the job is difficult, but you should at least give it a try. Four, be specific to, be unique to. This problem is not only specific to big cities because it happens everywhere. Five nearby. I searched the internet and found three good restaurants nearby. Six, complete. Rob's life is complete now that he has achieved his goal. Only after you complete your homework can you play your video game. Seven, experience. My encounter with the lion was a frightening experience. Ted experienced a lot of suffering during the war. Eight, ceremony. The groundbreaking ceremony will take place as scheduled, regardless of the weather. Extra words. One, postal elf. Two, pan for gold. The dialogue, 情境对话 Just look at all these beautiful Christmas cards. We should get some to send to our friends back home. That's a great idea. I also spotted a snow globe that my niece Susan would absolutely love to add to her collection. 
Welcome to the Santa Claus Man Post Office. Can I help you with anything? Yes, I have a question for you. Is it possible for our cards and gifts to be sent so they arrive before Christmas? Of course, ma'am. You can request that with the post aisle behind the counter、uh, when you're ready to check out. Or you can simply put them in the red mailbox over there. Thanks. I love that you offer that kind of service. How are you folks enjoying your stay with us? I love how warm and cozy our cabin is. I almost don't want to leave it. That's great to hear. What can I do for you this morning? We'd like to experience more of the local culture. Could you give us a few options? Sure. You can go on a dog sled, or reindeer sleigh ride, go snow mobbling, and even pen for gold. Really? I'd love to give penning for gold a try. Is there anything more specific to this area? Certainly. There's a reindeer farm nearby. That offers a complete Lapland experience with Lapish meals and ceremonies. Oh, I like the sound of that. Just for fun, 趣味英文 A man goes to a temple and tells the man in charge that he wants to become a monk. The head monk agrees, but says the head monk. There is one condition: you may only say two words every three years. The man eagerly agrees. The first three years pass, and the man goes to the head monk. What is it you wish to say? The head monk asks. Food, cold. The man replies. Three more years go by, and the man goes to see the head monk again. Robe, dirty. He says to the head monk, "Three long years pass again, and the man goes to see the head monk once more." What do you want to say? asks the head monk. "I quit," says the man. "I'm not surprised," says the head monk. "All you've done since you got here is complain."